For week one of my process for Tourist In Between, I thought I should interrogate Newport through the eyes of a tourist. So um, I went on the Newport website to get some tips. I went on eBay and bought myself a, a backpack, of course. It came ready prepared with uh, five raisins and a little bit of blue paper. I packed myself a touristic lunch and then I, um, I, I set out into the city that I've lived in for over 12 years to re-experience it as a tourist. Go into all of the hotspots that the Newport City Council website recommended I visit. Uh, along the way I encountered some really cool and unusual spaces in between um, and here's a little video of me at the Kenneth Bud mural explaining what that means. Here we are. This is a mural produced by Kenneth Budd and Oliver Budd. And this is one of those places where tourist attractions merge with what I call spaces in between, where we look at little pockets of culture in the places in between the places. Now check this out. Now this is all Kenneth Budd on the walls here. But we've also got Today's artists sharing their worth. Like when I was editing this video, I suddenly noticed that none of the graffiti covers any of the Kenneth Bird mural. I suddenly thought maybe it's this profound mutual respect that these tag artists and graffiti artists have for such a, a beautiful piece of mosaic work. I don't know, I just thought that was uh, cool and worth mentioning. It's like a collaboration. That, 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 that spans time. Yeah, just look at it. Look. Look at these dogs. All the manufacturing of trains and stuff. It's a work of art, man. And this isn't even half of it. There's more, more over there. There's a real tourist attraction, this, you know. After spending a bit more time with the Kenneth Budd murals, I decided to go to the next destination on my Newport City tourism map, which is of course uh, Newport Castle. I took a moment to have a little thumbs up outside of there, and then just carried on with some of my walking and thinking. The main thing that started fascinating me was how I was beginning to see the city through uh, new eyes. As a tourist, I could see the iconography in the city's statues and buildings and structures and monoliths. So I started to think about how that iconography might be represented to people visiting the city and immediately thought of uh, tourist t-shirts. So I started to research and have a look at some of the imagery that's used and think about how I could create my own t-shirts for Newport to sort of create a new mythology but also explore what the city means to people uh, externally and internally. So yeah, 